left in the game. It's 21 to 3 in favor of Stickwork. So Stickwork with an 18 point lead. W with the ball. And he's going to need a couple things to happen here. You're going to see that second quarter on the top of your screen there. Just think about that as the second half. So there's 314 left in the game. And to be honest with you here, Gibbs, we just didn't want to run off another 10 minutes off the clock for it to be 100% accurate. And I think everyone appreciates that. Second 11, quick throw out to the tight end. And he gets to the 31, third and four, three minutes left in the game. Yeah, let's talk about how important though this drive is right now. Yes, W down 21 to three, but in our off stream match, Skimbo falling victim, uh, or Skimbo winning that game, making Joe Rice go to one and one. That means that Dubby's still alive if he loses this game at 0-2. So that will come down to points. So point differential is vital right now for Dubby. So field goals, touchdowns, they all matter at this point in this game for him. And maybe that little delay in hearing the final score. And that's what's up and it's good. So now we have a 15-point game, 241. So that little delay, which allowed Skimbo's game to finish which, as he goes victorious, now Skimbo sort of, I mean, uh, W sort of being able to do the math, would love to come back and win this thing, but knows if he can play it close, that's to his advantage. Well, it starts with getting three straight stops here, getting the ball back, using your timeouts to stop the clock, and that's the formula that can get this thing going. But if you are stick work, it's all about running the ball, trying to close this one out on the ground. Well, Adrian Peterson has been fantastic, and why not? Quick run there for four. He's well over 100 yards and two scores and this one second and six. Yeah, he's going to run the ball once again here. Look for it on second down. Once again, a little misdirection to Peterson. That's going to work it to the two-minute warning. So it'll be third and one with two minutes left in the game. Yeah, that's a tough one right there. If you're W, you almost want him, uh, stick work to get the first down in that spot here because third and one, a very manageable uh, situation to convert because uh, now you're going to have to waste an extra timeout potentially here. So uh, third and one spot now. Watch for quarterback sneak, halfback power O. Loading up the box, and they'll hand it to Adrian Peterson, and he'll pick up the first down. And that was a huge conversion for stick work, leading by 15 here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you can see that that's where the that, uh, third and one spot hurts uh, because now W has to use a, a one timeout there. Now it's first down. So even if he gets a couple stops here, you're going to see Stickwork will have one down where he can run the clock all the way down. Well, Stickwork has ran the ball really well this afternoon. And there's that second timeout. So second and nine, 146 on the clock. And that's 146 left in the game. And the only thing Adrian Peterson for Stickwork really hasn't done this day is, I don't dare say it, but cough it up. I formation, back to Peterson. Had some room outside, but he's gobbled up at the 41. And there's that third and final timeout. So 140 left in the game, third and eight. So right now, if you are stick work third and eight, you can do the safe and conservative thing, which is run the ball, waste another 30 seconds, punt the ball back to Dubby, or you could go for the win in the victory right here. Alex Smith, and a beautiful find to Conley, and that is just about all she wrote. How about this guy, okay? Stick work, the 100th ranked player in the world going up against the number one player right there on your screen, Dubby, and he goes for it there with a pass. He doesn't play the conservative throw. He said he was winning in this game at halftime when he talked to Drea because he was playing conservative. Here, he's playing aggressive right now with the big lead on Dubby. He goes back to Peterson, lead blocker, and he breaks another tackle. And AP will sail into the end zone. You know, that's been the story of this one with Adrian Peterson breaking tackles and then running deep into the secondary of Dubby for touchdowns. And just like that, he puts more points up on the scoreboard. That's a helpful for Stickworks point differential, as we talked about earlier, that could come down to in, the, in his final games here in Group B. So it's a 22-point lead for the number 100 player in the world. Dubby, number one overall trailing in this one.
Something I did not see coming, my friend. You're going to have to put up some points, though, on the on the board here for W. A minute and six seconds. Every point will matter. I cannot stress that enough right now, but Stickwork is screaming after him. And it's a pick and true five. We'll take it to the 25. You can get your keys out. Warm up the bus. This one's over. Yeah, and this is this is bad news bears now at this point. For, because now you're in a, a situation where you could put up more points uh, if your stick work. Field goal. He's going to take a couple quarterback knees here. We'll see if he takes a field goal to close this one out. Uh, put more points on the scoreboard. Yeah, point differential so big. It's worth going back to. We talked about it at the top of this game. He already beat the number two player in the world in problem in the online group stage, beat Lights Out. Lost to Beast Mode Mac, who was number 38. So this guy in stick work has played some tough competition and actually played well. You know what's unbelievable is when we were talking to stick work prior to this tournament, uh, he had said this was his first year playing competitive Madden. He just picked up the stick, started playing competitively in the uh, this past fall, and he just is now taking down Problem in the online group stage. Now you're taking down Dubby. I mean, this is an impressive performance by this kid, uh, and I'm just really impressed, again, by that defense he had in this game uh, throughout this one, sending all that pressure after Dubby. So now 31-6. to six. Stick work is going to move to... One and one here in Group B. Dubby's 0 and 2. Didn't see that coming. Didn't see that coming. All right, here we go. You could have told me a lot of things before the start of this tournament, but I wouldn't have said that Dubby would be 0 and 2. And Skimbo 2 and 0 in Group B. Carr. And there's another fumble, and it's scooped up. Wow. And this is time for more points as Chris Long jumps on the fumble. Yeah, you've got to kick another fig right here. Take a look. Get pressure off the edge. We're going to get a block shed. No, that's an absolute blitz off the edge, and he gets the sack fumble. He's going to take the knee and not kick a field goal, looks like. Well, Dubby, it was the interception bug against Skimbo. And in this one, it's sort of been a mixture. We've had a, a few times he's put the ball on the ground, and a few times he's given up through the air. And I've said it time and time again, you got to take care of the onion, or it'll make you cry. And anytime you get beat 31 to 6. I'm emotional. <laughs> I'm always emotional. Like good news, bad news, excited, and probably overly excited half the time. I don't know whether I'm coming or I'm going, but listen, this was a great game for stick work. He won with his defense. He was opportunistic. He got turnovers late in that uh, game that helped pad his point differentials. That's going to be pivotal for our next games. Well, big time upset. Number 100 beating number one. Let's go down to Drea. Thanks, Scott. Well, he just said it, number 100 beating number one. What did this performance mean to you? Uh, I think it showed a lot about like me being able to bounce back and uh, be able to come back from a loss like I did from Joe Rice. So uh, I think I have a good chance to get out of this group. And um, my defense is obviously winning me games, so I got to keep it up. You haven't even been playing the game that long. How did you pick up all the nuances so fast? I know you did play in high school. Uh, I think just like getting a lot of reps online against people and uh, you just catch on, uh, I guess, catch on what people do and like, yeah, that's basically <laughs> it. I mean, just a lot of online reps against people got me really good. This was your first experience on this big stage. For all the people watching, describe this experience with the lights, the energy, just for people watching that want to know. Uh, it's awesome and uh, at the same time, get nervous. I was nervous my first game, but my second game, I came out and I just played it like I was playing at home, so yeah. All right, well, congratulations. Thank you. Let's send it to Tyler and the guys. All right, thanks, Drea. Appreciate that. Yeah.